So my entire life, I've never seen this movie in full, all the way through, bits and pieces here and there. Played a little bit of it from the video game, like I said in my review for the live-action Little Mermaid. Um, those who are not familiar, I did watch the um, the new Mulan, the live-action one, before I saw the animated one. And I, at that time, believed that the live-action one was more emotional than the the one from the, the animated one. And I am a huge person that's biased toward animation from DC animated stuff there, Batman the Animated Series, Spider-Man, X-Men, you name it, DuckTales, that kind of stuff there. I love animation. So when I saw Mulan without any kind of preconceived notions, I thought for the movie itself there, it did a really good job playing at your heartstrings to the struggle of the character. When I saw the original Mulan, the animated one, of course, I felt it was more, I guess, hokey, per se, because of the, the dragon character always being with her and pushing her along the way, instead of it being her own decision. So I didn't like that aspect of it. I, I like that Mulan in the live action one did things based on her experiences, rather than someone hinting to do something. So in the in the new one, uh, in the new Little Mermaid, uh, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I like the songs. The characters were awesome. Ursula was awesome. And then I saw the animation one. The animation was uh, obviously very, very good. Um, not for its time, but just overall beautiful looking. Just really good looking. If anything, this movie should have been CG. Like, all CG. Like, I, I don't know what they did for the new Little Mermaid. Probably, like, live action mixed with CG. But the whole movie should have been CG, like Mario. Uh, like Mario, because it's so fluid looking. But I know why they didn't do it like that. Because a, a majority of the characters are human looking, like King Triton and uh, Ursula. And uh, the, the parents, stuff like that, to the chef. Well, they're they're human based, so I bet Disney was like, should we do all, all CG or mix in between because characters are like that one, but I get why they chose to mix it up. A majority of Mario's characters are meant to be cartoony. Mario and Mario and the gang itself, there maybe like maybe not Peach, you know that kind of stuff there, but a majority of Mario's world. It's cutesy looking, cartoon looking characters. Little Mermaid is not like that one. They have human builds to the characters, so I know why Disney did it this way. But for the sake of making the the the, the feel of it come to life, it should have been all CG. Doing the best you could and making all CG. Because stuff like this scene right here with the seagull getting choked out there. It looks really cool if you do it like in CG. But if you have a human choke a bird in live action, it's really bad for people. It's going to get canceled really fast, you know? So the music was the same. It was still good. Both versions still had really good music in there. Um, the, like I said, the chef is gone. The chef, that was Sebastian's arc, per se. Um, it was a, it, it was like what five minutes, uh, but in the new version, the one action when Sebastian couldn't give me of his own storyline. So in case you didn't see the the original one, Sebastian was in the kitchen, and because this this goes back to what King Trent said earlier in the picture that humans want to fricassee us, so Sebastian was in the kitchen, and the chef the chef was going crazy. The way it started in the animation one was freaking bananas, bro. I understand why Disney had to cut that thing out there because the way it wasn't live action, sorry, the way it wasn't the animation, it was ridiculous. It was so like hyper speed, like jumping around, stuff being destroyed, like stuff flying everywhere, debris and shrapnel and whatnot there. The kitchen was a war zone. 
Sebastian was moving around like a damn cat. It was ridiculous. And, and, and the, the, the chef was just going crazy with the eyes and, and just losing his freaking mind, bro. There's no way you can put that in live action and make it work. No way. So instead of like have, have instead of Disney doing that, that cool scene, they decided to cut it out entirely. Instead of replacing it with something else, they just cut it out entirely. Good job, Disney. They cut that out there and they made the days from uh Ariel and the Prince last longer. Like day one, day two, day three. In the animation it was it basically skipped the day three automatically. Um I think the pacing of the, the original Little Mermaid was so fast, most viewers would not think that Ariel had to do all the shit to do was write down, kiss me, you fool, or whatever. They didn't really think about that one. I believe when I saw the animation, something was off compared to the live action one. When Ariel and Ursula were talking about the contract, when Ursula, look, this is the animation, in when Earl, when Ursula was talking about the contract in the animation, she was, I mean, Ariel was really quick to sign compared to thinking about it more in the live action one. Um, so that was kind of cool. Also, underground, of course, you, in case you forgot, there's a lot of quote unquote like living dead down there in the animation, which was not really seen in the live action one. It gives the animation one more cool points because you get to see like the the despair of the ones that she overcame. You didn't really, you didn't really see that in the live in the, in the live action one. And the the talking eels, the best friends per se of Ursula, didn't have any lines in the live action one at all. They were mutes, uh, but they had more personality. They were more sinister. They they were pulling her along, pulling the strings per se. I believe those things were the ones who dragged Ariel into Ursula's cave in the animation. But in the live action one, I believe she just she stumbled in there or the 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 twins of them like wandered by and she just followed them for no reason. But in the animation, uh, she was talked into going to the cave, which made more sense. So like um I also find it kinda of interesting that in both versions that Ursula basically had Big Brother cameras everywhere. She was able to monitor every single movement that Ursula made in that three day thing, and pretty much underground too. Every movement that she, every movement she made, she was on her ass. There was no escaping that thing. She could, Ariel could not cheat. She could not do anything because Ursula was always looking at that ball. And uh, if she was, she was doing, if she was doing too good there. Ursula would send somebody in there and just, you know, curve that thing real quick. So that that was a nice little thing from the uh, the animation to have something that's more modern nowadays for someone to have access to uh, like a camera at all times on anywhere on you of a target. So, yeah, that, that was kind of cool. And this scene on the boats uh, near the end of the picture uh, when Ursula was disguised as the other person, um, yeah, I am, once again, I am not surprised that Disney decided to not do the scene at all. Um, so because, like I said, like the, the kitchen scene, it was chaos. There were so many animals around that, different animals, bro, all over that ship there. People running for their lives, per se, they're splashing around, stuff being thrown around. It was ridiculous. Like, look at the, look at the seal. The seal was bouncing Ursula on its its nose. Um, you cannot do that in live action to make it work. And like I said, in the animation, perfectly fine. You can get away with anything. But in, in live action, you cannot make that scene work. There's so many different things going on in that scene. It was ridiculous. It was crazy. The, the hair, the eyes, everything was going nuts in that final thing. But in live action, they didn't, accept, didn't have that scene at all. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. The craziest scene to my memory in the live action one, uh, um, uh, I'm thinking, bro, I don't remember anything. I don't remember any action sequences at all in the live action one, and I just saw it too. 
By comparison, I saw The Flash two weeks ago, uh, two Mondays ago, and I saw Little Mermaid this past Thursday. I remember The Flash acting sequences way more than the one in Little Mermaid. I don't think there's any action sequences in the picture at all. I don't think there's any any chaos or anything like that. It's just a safe on picture with musicals. Um, I remember like Ursula eating a scarab. I remember in the live action one, I remember that Trident I uh, pushed down on Sebastian to make him not go anywhere. But nothing crazy over the top action sequences at all in the new live action one. They cut all that thing out. They cut it all out. So yeah, big points for the animation one for having some cool chaos. Uh, to, to show off to your friends. But in the, the new one, it's just a regular story um, of a girl, fish out of water, literally, trying to get uh, uh, her man to kiss her. Um, but no intense scene, just a, just a drama and the evil of Ursula, but no action sequences at all in the, the live-action one. Yikes. Whoa. So Disney decided to not have any of that stuff in there. I guess because they were too lazy to animate that kind of stuff, or even do one of their own. It, even in the uh, the Lion King remake that came out in 2019, I don't remember the 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 the, the, L, the sorry the stampede thing was in the movie because it had to be. Well, other than that, there I don't remember much of the action in the picture at all. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think of the live action one compared to the original one. All right, clack off.